Well, hello everyone, it's National Freak, and I am here with a real how-to tutorial on how to make photos animated and move in Final Cut Pro X or 10, whatever you want to call it. I know there's a lot of people out there who don't like the jibber-jabber, so I'm just going to jump right into telling you how to do it. So, first off, I have a, just a sample here of an old video of mine. I'm going to make a brick fly across the screen of this clip of video. So what you're going to need is a picture of a brick and you're going to want to find one online, draw one yourself, whatever you want to do. Hopefully it is transparent background so it is easy to throw around and move around without backgrounds blocking your way. So what you're going to do is I have a picture of a brick over here on my other screen. I'm just going to drag it over here and I'm just going to put it smack. There, it's a Mario brick. There you go. I got it right offline. So one, I want to make it fly across the screen. So. To make it more, I don't know, sizable, I'm going to take it, I'm going to push this little button to transform it, and you're just going to want to shrink it down a little bit. Perfect, just like that. That's all I want to do. Just like that, super simple. So then you're going to want to drag it to the side of the screen. You're going to want to keep it in view so you can click on it later because you don't want to drag it too far. You're not going to be able to click it, and it's going to be a mess to try to find it. So one is once it is off screen from where you want the picture to start and it's animation or movement, you're going to want to click this little diamond button right here. Just give it a little click. This means it's its first position. This is where the picture starts and then wherever, and then you're going to want to place it to where it wants to end. So you take your little header here. I'm going to zoom in a little bit to make it more precise. So you got your block here. This is the entire clip of the block. I want to expand the whole clip, so I'm just going to drag it out. I'm going to make it longer. It expands this entire clip right here. Okay. And we know that the picture in question starts right here where this header is, or wherever this is called. I can't remember what it's called. So wherever you want it to end, you're going to want to drag this to wherever you want it to end. So I want it to end right here at the very end of the clip. Now, for some reason, whenever you go to the very end of the clip, it thinks it's in the next clip. So you're just going to want to put it about right at the end, and it actually is the end of the clip. It just is really finicky that way. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take this. Now that the header is over here, you're going to want to take your picture and you're going to want to drag it right across the screen. And that red line means it's that is its pathway. That is the path in which it travels from the center of the picture across the screen. So now it's there. You click done. And that is that. And now we watch. There's not going to be any audio so it doesn't distract you. All right, and that is how to make pictures move on Final Cut Pro. And there are a lot of other things you can do with this. There's also ways to make it bend, or you can move the entire line. Whenever you move it to right here, you can click again, and then you can warp it to go up and down. I will show more of this in depth next time, but that is basically the in-depth, the basic way to make pictures move from one point to another point in Final Cut Pro. I know I was wondering how to do that for the longest time, and now I am showing you how to do it. Well, thanks for watching, everyone, and like I said just a second ago, if you do want to see more, please shoot me a message or comment down below telling me what you want to see me teach you in Final Cut Pro. Thanks, have a great day, namaste. Oh, Thank you all so much for watching, and I wanted to give a much-deserved shout-out to Jaden Faith, who is actually my soon-to-be sister-in-law, who was my very first Patreon of $1, so she is able to get all of my videos a day early. Thank you so much for donating, Jaden, and go check out her channel called Jaden Faith, where she does makeup tutorials, other how-to tutorials, music, toy reviews, movie reviews, and so much more. She is awesome for an 11 year old. So go check her out and do not forget to rate and subscribe. Thank you all so much. Bye.